Hello everyone, James Hilliard here recently hosted a conversation called Ask the Experts. We were focusing on complexity in the data center and we found out that AI ops can help simplify some of that complexity. What AI ops is and how it can help you? Take a listen. Quick primer, the one minute version of the promise of AI ops for teams out there. Yeah, simplifying operations better visibility, better control, more efficiency, and the ability to, you know, kind of flip the, flip the script, right? You're, you know, imagine a more proactive IT organizations versus reactive. Being able to go to the business uh, stakeholders now and say, this is what we're using, this is what we anticipate we're gonna need, so this is what we're gonna, you know, budget for. Uh, whereas in the past, it's been very much, hey, throw a dart and, or whack-a-mole, <laughs> right? We, yeah. we, we say whack-a-mole a lot. So that was good. How's that? that? Was that one that minute? That was a minute. You, you, right. did, you, did, you did well on that. All right, so now that we have defined AI ops, let's talk about implementing it. And sometimes teams might be ready today to implement. There may be teams that aren't ready yet. What are some things to think about in terms of implementing that? You've got to break down those silos. You've got to communicate amongst the team. When you start talking about implementing AI ops, a lot of it is around metrics, what are the SLAs, really having an understanding of that, right? And ultimately making sure that it aligns back to the business stakeholders too, because sometimes IT has different standards than what the business thinks. So I would say definitely, you know, get everyone together, really make sure everyone understands the mission and break down those silos and communicate. Yeah, you follow yeah, I, up on that. I agree. Well, I think the other thing is that, again, people think that generative AI and things like that can really make and save the day. But to, but to your absolute point, once you've broken down the silos, it's figuring out what is that data that you've already been collecting? Yes. And is that data data that's going to be helpful? Or in some cases, it's probably stuff they should have thrown away a long time ago because they aren't collecting the right information. So part of it is really also sitting with the business stakeholders to understand, okay, there's the operations, but there's the, hey, I sit around and wait for five minutes to open up this particular application, and we start adding that with all the people that are waiting, you know what I mean? So it's this combination of, are we collecting the right data, and do we even really know what data we should be collecting? And then once you've done that, automating it is really pretty easy. From an AI, AI ops standpoint, you need to have the data coming from your systems. You need to have a plan to get that data saved. And, and you know, I know that Lenovo has the ability to get that information there, but you need to have the data to be able to get the insights on it. If you would like to learn more and see the entire Ask the Experts conversation, please visit connection.com forward slash data center experts.